to create this design i'm going to add a cylinder with 24 words then go to the edit mode turn on the extra mode select this top words and scale them in this way then add center loop cut then select this bottom words and scale them like this select this edge loop and move this edge loop along the z axis then select this top words and scale down them select the bottom words and scale them in this way so here we have got the basic form then select this edge loop and control b add bevel on it then add a few loop cuts then turn on the x-ray mode and select this top and bottom faces and delete them then select alternate edge loops like this then go to the front view turn on the x-ray mode and deselect this top and bottom faces and then delete these faces so we will get this kind of design pretty simple select everything and then use the extrude along the normal and extrude outside turn on this offset a1 and give the proper offset in this way then add center loop cuts like this then select all these center loop cuts go to the front view turn on the extra mode and deselect this top edges and deselect the bottom edges like this and then press alt s to scale them along the normal then turn on the x-ray mode deselect this bottom words and deselect this top words and press alt s to scale them along the normal you need to repeat this process deselect these words deselect these words and press alt s so you can see i'm getting this kind of design then rotate it into 7 minus 7.5 degree angle then add center loop cut like this then select these faces and delete them select these faces and press p to make a separate object hide this object and here you will get only this part select these edge loops with the shift select deselect this bottom edges and deselect this top edges and then right click use the set flow in this way then add edge loop like this from this side also select this edge loop deselect this edges and use the set flow so you can get good curve design add there then hit the control tool to add the sub modifier now the next thing is select everything and shift d to duplicate it change the transform pivot point to 3d cursor and rotate it in this way into 30 degree angle shift d to duplicate it and rotate it and complete that circle then select everything and press m and merge by distance so double words will get merged and you will get this kind of design share smooth it it is looking really well then select this edge loop and use the loop tool and circle option select this inner edge loop loop tool circle option and same thing at top also select this edge loop loop tool circle option select this edge loop loop tool circle option then you can add loop cuts like this to maintain that form now we have got this kind of form which is looking really well now we need to twist it so it is very simple go to the modifier deform and add a simple deform modifier make sure it should be top of your sub d modifier check this twist option and choose the proper axis so z axis and here you can change the twisting angle like this so i will go with the minus 180 degree angle so i will get this kind of design you can see it is looking really well just apply the simple deform modifier then go to the edit mode select these top faces and extrude them and scale them add a loop cut and use the set flow on it 
and at the bottom also you can do the same thing select these faces s z 0 scale them along the z axis and extrude them in this way and then select this edge loops and control b add bevel on them shape factor should be 1 and add a 2 segment bevel and give the proper bevel width add few loop cuts in this way and there you go and now you can see I'm getting this kind of spiral vase design or spiral abstract so this is how you can create this kind of designs so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye see so next video take care